Well, hello again, everybody. We're going to get back to work on, uh, well, we're going to start work on the old Case tractor here. Um, I think Tommy's going to add some footage of showing how it looks in the summertime during the events. It's actually a water fountain. Um, of course, everything's disconnected here for the winter time. Um, <clears throat> but there's a couple hundred gallon water tank underneath the tractor and we've got a pump down in that water tank that just keeps recirculating that same water out through the radiator. Uh, we've had some landscape lighting, some low voltage lighting before shining up on the tractor, but I wanted to do something different. We're going to do similar to how we did uh, the Studebaker truck. How we did the Studebaker truck and the Chevy truck that are all done uh, lighting up. And uh, we're going to make the headlights and stuff work on that. Kind of the same kind of deal. We're going to do a uh, 12 volt power supply with some 12 volt LEDs replacing the original headlamps. Um, you probably think this is all we do here at the farm is do this kind of stuff, but it's our off season and this time of year that is what we do. We fix things, repair things, try to make things better. So there'll be a lot of content about that here uh, over the winter time, but next spring when we get uh, into the wedding season and to you know yard care types projects we're going to show a lot of content about that so hang on with me we're going to uh we've already taken the old light bulbs out and now we're going to be putting the new stuff in rigging up a wiring harness get rid of some of the old cobbled together wiring that was on this tractor uh, from before so hang on with us and watch so for now i'm just going to remove this old wiring just to get rid of some of the clutter we don't need all these old wires that went up to each headlight. That's where we'll run the new wires. Well, we'll start here. <clears throat> Take this rock out of here. Got this fake rock covering up where our 110 volt power comes in. One of these we won't need anymore, and I'm not sure which one that is right now. I wanna keep the one going. <clears throat> we have one up on the radiator itself, and I wanna keep that one going. This other one, and I'm not sure which one's which, and I don't want to tear rocks apart here in the wintertime. So I'm just going to leave these both for now. And we will uh, get our new power supply over here. So this power supply will sit underneath this rock like so. That'll plug into there like so. I use this heavier covered electrical cord because I want to protect it from the rocks. I obviously don't need anything anywhere near this heavy for what we're doing, but I want to use that just to uh, protect it from the rocks rubbing. We're gonna leave a little slack there. The pump is underneath this rock here. And then we're gonna run up Something like this, and come back to here before we go up. And I think I'm gonna have the junction up underneath here. Do plenty of slack. Yeah, that'll work the junction up underneath the hood. The water kind of drips down. And like I said, I'm not gonna cover this up right now. Wait till next spring when I can haul the rocks in. I'm gonna clip that cord, and then our junction will be here. There, there's where our junction will be. And again, I've got a lot of extra cord because I'll route it through these rocks and I'll cover it up with some more rocks next spring. We'll get this extra piece picked up. We kind of got to keep it tucked up out of the way. Sometimes people do climb up on this thing for photos. Yeah, that worked perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. 
Okay, now I gotta figure out how I'm going to run. I've got this cord here. We'll have the junction up in here. There's some space. There's some space up in here where we can run that. But I gotta get a wire then from that junction where that junction will be up under here and that'll protect it from the weather too. And we'll run up here like the old wire did up into that light. I gotta figure out how we get in the back of that. Right inside of there. I gotta figure out how we're gonna get the wire in through there. And maybe I can just break that piece out of there. We'll see. Break that out of there. It's on a, like a palnut kind of thing. Maybe I can get there. That just came right out of there. Look at there, that little clip came out. And that looks like that holds that in. Maybe you gotta turn it the right way. There, look at that. It'll be nice and easy to run that new wire through there. See if the other one comes apart as easy. Now I get to climb on the nice slippery rocks again. Oh, look at that, that came right out. Look at that. The next spring I can put, I'll probably just put a little gob of silicone in there just to seal that up. That back one should work the same way. The back light's a little bit smaller. It's not the same size. I can't get at that one as easy as the other ones because the other fixtures were bigger. You could get in there. Might have to get a pair of needle nose or something. I'll put you guys over here. This is kind of hard to, hard to find a place to put you folks. Or I don't knock you over. I'll try to get this clip off of here. There, look at that. <laughs> Popped right off of there. Pretty as could be. And we'll get this out there. Now we got an opening in that one to run the wire through in the back. You're not helping, Ricky. Huh, buddy? All right. Now I get to run the new wire. We'll try to figure that out, how to route that. I think we'll come through the light, out the back. I think the wire originally ran through that hole right there is where we'll go. Go through this hole. There, that should be long enough there. Give it just a little bit extra. Snip that off. Do the same thing on the other side. It's hard to find a place to put you guys with all these rocks here. This isn't conducive to good video. Between me trying to climb on these rocks and trying to find a good spot to put you guys. Trying to see here where the original wire actually ran. <clears throat> the wires that I just removed weren't, those were not the original wires. But it looks like it ran. I guess we'll just do this, will work. I'll make sure I got enough to get up to where I wanna go there. Give me a little extra even. Okay, and then we'll run one back to the back along this side here somehow. If it was a little warmer, this wire would work better. But it wants to stay stiff and not unroll nice and straight. And then we'll get these wires here strapped up a little bit. And we'll get this back wire run through here. There, we got all those wires run. Well, I think that's gonna be about it for today. We've got some other things to do this afternoon. 
Uh, I'll get back to this project either tomorrow or possibly the day after and probably finish it up. Um, but for now, I think that's all Ricky and I got for you. Right, Ricky? Right, buddy boy? Right, buddy boy? Yeah, we'll get back to this project. It's going to look pretty cool when it's done. So thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Thanks.